Guys, we are going to the Salt Flats. We've been here for, what, like a week, week and a half now. I mean, 10 or 15 minutes from the Salt Flats, but we haven't been yet. Nope. We've been super busy doing some converting on the van. So we're gonna go check it out. Uh, we're gonna spend a little bit of time out there. We have some errands to run afterwards, but we're kind of just making this a content day and enjoying yeah. and checking out the Salt Flats. And we're bringing you with us. Yeah, we are. Let's go check it out. First check-in from the Salt Flats. We got here, said they were closed. There was highway patrol here, which technically they don't have jurisdiction, but she was like, no, we shouldn't go. And I was like, eh, they can't really enforce on federal land. But we decided to ask him, really nice guy. Friendly. Yeah, way younger than us, which uh, was a different experience. It was like one of the first times ever. Like the officer rolls his window down and he's like, hey guys. Like, oh, you're like and I was 20. like, whoa, whoa, you are like well, well under our age. The sign's just always up. If there's ever any moisture or wetness on the salt flats, don't drive on that. And that's to protect them, to keep them this really smooth surface so that you could drive really fast. This is actually really cool. Super cool. I was kind of skeptical of being like, yeah, it's a salt flat. It's kind of like the White Sands National Park, to be honest, where like, it's really friggin' cool. There's not a lot to do, but it's fun to just like be in. Like it's cool. Like woo! So what is this other than a giant mass of salt? Well, the salt flats are a dried up lake bed remnants from Bonneville Lake. This body of water has since shrunk into what we know today as Great Salt Lake and Utah Lake. Since there was not consistent drainage for the water, it all evaporated and left behind the concentrated minerals. Today's salt flats are 300,000 acres and the salt ranges from a few inches all the way to five feet deep. Aside from being an awesome place for tourists to explore, this is also home to a raceway where several land speed records have been made. It's literally salt. You want to eat it? Eat it. No. Look at it. No. Why? I don't know. I'm going to try it. Oh, it's salty. Yeah, like really salty? It tastes like salt. How do I get it on my fingers? Okay. Look! It doesn't taste like salt. <laughs> it's cool though. You salty? You salty. Nope. A little behind the scenes of what content looks like. Got our tripod set up here. We're actually shooting for one of the products that we'll be releasing a video on soon. Uh, sleepy, sleepy puppy dog. Oh, he's picking me up in this hot rod. No, I'm not picking you up, you're driving. I'm driving? You're driving. Oh my God. You get to drive puppy dog. I'm driving. I had trouble getting in the gear, but here we go. <laughs> no, I, I'm good at driving our girl. Help. If this video doesn't get posted, you won't see this message, but still, if you can, send help. It's crazy. It feels like just, like, pavement. It's cool, right? It's really cool. Look at your hair. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's fun. It's cool, right? That's what I was saying. Oh! I never get to have fun like this not driving. <laughs> so we just got out of town. We ran in to get some groceries, pick up some mail. We're going back to the bus. I, I think we're gonna keep it kind of low key. The salt flats were a lot of fun. Really, really cool. It's just a really unique experience and I would definitely recommend. <laughs> PSA, 
Normally, we use uh, reusable grocery bags. We even have really cool ones we bought from Mexico. We forgot we were grocery shopping when we left today. Womp womp. It's okay. You try your hardest. You don't hit it every time, but as long as you hit it most of the time, you're doing great. We'll use them for poop bags. Poop bags. Poop bags. Tally poop bags. Ah, tally poop bags. Mascotti. Manicotti. Manicotti. <laughs> Not mascotti. Oh my god, how fun. Also, he didn't know we're carrot people now. So we go. Blueberries. It's a big one, Amor. Right, real quick, just finished putting groceries away. I want to show you guys where we're staying. It's really, really cool. It's near the Salt Flats. Take a look. Thanks for exploring the Salt Flats with us. Comment below your favorite less traveled place and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more vlogs and van life content. Cheers, y'all.